So, buying a custom PC or building a custom PC versus a branded PC. So, uh, what is a branded PC? Well, a branded PC is your HPs, Lenovo's, Dell's, Acer's, Asus, Apple, Toshiba's, those kind of uh, branded PCs. And a custom built PC is a PC you either get a third party to build, you can order them online, or you can get them in a local store. Um, generally, they have higher quality parts installed and uh, we're going to go down through the the three main factors that are involved um, in the differences between them uh, between uh, custom built PCs and branded PCs so the the important factors is the difficulty of actually setting up a PC and both PCs have to be set up in a certain way and then you have the cost and reliability of each type of system so I'm um, basically talking about desktop PCs here so just in case you don't know that but um, if you want a PC a computer to last then a desktop PC is the way to go so I just start here now with um, difficulty and we'll start here with custom built PCs first thing you can order a custom built PC online or in a store locally and also if you're going to do it that way make sure online or in a store locally make sure that you get the operating system disk with your um, desktop computer because without that operating system disk you have um, no control over the system if you wanted to reinstall the operating system say if your hard drive died or got damaged you'd have no way you'd have to buy a new um, operating system for it if you go the branded route but we'll get into that in a minute there is another option um, you can order all the parts um, individually and um, this way you have complete control over price and and reliability of your system um, so building your own PC you can um, build a low-end PC or a mid-range PC or a high-end PC and just to note here they are a lot um, they're they're less expensive than your branded PCs so um, building a PC is it difficult to do um, not really uh, all the components that go into a PC are, are keyed so that means they, they only have there is only one way of installing the, the actual components and they're labeled and labeled to where they actually fit into the, the PC and you'll find all the information on in the user guides that, that come with the parts and also I have videos showing you how to do all these the, all the individual parts how to install them on a PC if you um, would like to get them uh, give me a shout email me on computerhelpmadeeasy.com what do you gain by by building your own well apart from the quality of the, the parts that you buy you you have control over that but you also um, basically you learn how to build a PC and then it becomes a lot easier to repair it you'll be able to repair it yourself without having to get someone to do it for you so replacing parts wouldn't be a problem and upgrading wouldn't be a problem and when you build a PC yourself or you you get a custom built pc it sets the, the computer up to last a lifetime because you have control over the motherboard and the operating system you're not tied to um the hard drive like uh, the the operating system is installed in the hard drive and if the hard drive dies you don't have an operating system so you'll have to go and buy a new one if you have the branded system i would encourage you to make a systems image as soon as possible so that you can if the hard drive ever dies that you have um, you can reinstall your operating system because you have a systems image we'll get into that again uh, as I said a little uh, later here so basically once you have a built then you would have to set it up the operating system and all that um, now if you buy it online or in a store locally they will have the um, operating system installed for you now there's a charge for it um, we'll go into that a little later as well 
So now we'll just move on here to the branded PC, the difficulty um, involved in getting a PC, a branded PC. So you order online again or in store locally, whichever way suits you. So you have to set it up once you get it. Um, operating systems are left so that you can set up a password and the the internet connection and the the licensing of the operating system so that's and the product key possibly you'd have to install as well and so same as a custom built pc if you want it to last for any length of time then you need control you need to have a maintenance plan set up but we'll get into that a little later as well um again hard drive you need to be replacing them every three years if you really if you want a pc to last because two things happen one the hard drive starts to die over time and secondly your operating system becomes corrupted because you're putting on extra software and that kind of stuff and files and videos and pictures so they don't last they need to be um, refreshed as I mentioned earlier the um, systems image is a great idea to have one as soon as you purchase your PC so that's the difficulty side of the two now we move on here to cost so as you can see there for the custom built PC components will cost you in the region of about $649 and that would set you up for a branded PC of 1200 exact same spec components you can get for 649 as opposed to 1200 for the branded PC so that's a, a, a serious uh, saving there it's nearly half now if you want the um the, the pc to be of higher spec then you you can it can go up to 850 900 you can even go as far as 1200 dollars if you want and if you get someone else to build it then the charge is usually around 80 euros now if you buy it online this price probably won't include be included because they will um basically put the uh, the prices up for the components instead of um, charging you actually to build it so it'll be a, a slightly more expensive machine if you buy an a custom PC to order okay so we move on here now year three once you build your PC and you have it set up and all that good stuff you must replace the hard drive every three to four years um, my advice is to make sure that you get a solid state drive they are a lot quicker than your normal disk drives and they don't fail slowly they, f they do fail eventually three four years down the line they will fail like um, all components but um, th th they stay consistent for those three to four years and the speed difference between a solid state drive and a disk drive is is huge so just to give you an indication um a pc that would um boot up in 45 seconds with a disk drive it the same machine with a solid state drive in it would boot up in less than 20 seconds so that's and, every, and everything you open would be a lot quicker as well all your um, your software and files and folders so that's another uh, point to keep in mind so uh, replacing solid state drive um, hundred dollars for a hundred and twenty gig hundred and twenty eight gig gigabyte um, drive and if you do it DIY then you um, save the cost of reinstalling all your your software as well so you, if you do it yourself um, I have videos for that as well if you if you need them um, moving on then once, once you have your hard drive replaced then in year four it's time to start thinking about replacing motherboards and processors and RAM so that you can get these in bundles 
costing so this will be high end here uh, 250 for replacement motherboard processor and ram um again you can uh, give me a shout if you need any help with that you're all you're doing here is just basically rebuilding your pc from from parts but you don't have to be putting them all in at once and then you say it likes of year five six and seven there you could replace the graphics card replace the power supply and then of course the hard drive again after three years so year six or seven again cost about three hundred and sixty dollars there thereabouts prices fluctuate as you know um might be slightly less than this too this is a bit high this is slightly high for those components so and year eight then you repeat repeat the process cost again uh, 400 hardware replacement so you'll be starting with your motherboard processor and ram so your total saving in comparison to a branded pc would be 1820 dollars and um, that's a fairly significant saving after four years again some of these costs up here would be less than than what i'm stating here um these are not set in stone you will be able to get these um components for less than these prices here now so cost uh, in comparison then to branded pc so you buy one for twelve hundred dollars and then three years down the line you'd have to replace the hard drive costing uh, and moving software would cost you 80 so that'd be 180 dollars and um, that's if you get a solid state drive which you should if you are buying if you are replacing the hard drive and you want it to be um, fairly fast faster than see that the hard drive in a pc is um the, the, the weak link in the speed of a, of, a, of a pc so um everything else is is pretty fast but the hard drive is is the is the bottleneck the kind of the the, the problem area so if you have a fairly fast hard drive then you see huge significant uh, differences in the speed of your system another thing to keep in mind okay so year four then you're buying a new pc if it starts to slow down and deteriorate you want to replace the motherboard or whatever you can't really do that with a branded pc so you're back to buying a new pc or you have the option of buying a new a, a new operating system and motherboard um like i mentioned in the video above this the um the operating system is tied to the motherboard on a branded pc and you, there is no way around it really so you have to buy a new operating system if you want your um, pc to last beyond the four or five years of the, the, the you know the hardware just starts to die after four years so you need to replace it anyway so moving on anyway for year four you'd have another cost of 1200 and again three years down the line you'll probably be thinking of uh, the speed of your pc so you'll be replacing the hard drive year eight then you're back to uh, the same situation again you're buying a new pc so the total there would be three nine six and this would not include say repairs general repairs like say cleaning out your pc and all that stuff but we'll get into the maintenance side of it uh, in a second so so that's the um cost um basically you've got no control over costs in in a, in a branded pc so you pay for kind of what you get really except uh, the difference is the custom built pc has you have total control over the costs you know um the significant change is then after year nine on a custom built pc you're you're down to savings uh, you know i'd say down to year 12 there so you're replacing stuff as you go along uh, each year um it's not difficult to do you know um I don't know why more people should should actually uh, go down this route, especially if they want to save money. And replacing parts is is not a difficult thing to do. So again, I have videos for all that. And if you want any of that information, just let me know. So total cost then at the end of twelve years would be twenty nine hundred. 
for a custom built PC that's pretty much um, up to date with technology as well because you're replacing parts as you go and the difference then with the maintenance side will be you're buying a new PC then every four or five years and the cost then totaled here it would be 5,340 and the savings between the two options it'd be two thousand four hundred and forty dollars fairly significant and as you keep going this price keeps going up as well so something to keep in mind so now reliability it is all down to maintenance so for a custom built PC same as a branded PC you have to do maintenance if you want it to last clean it out um, I have 12 steps there uh, I have a course there of um, 12 tools basically that you would run set up on your PC that would keep it uh, maintained properly and that would include backing up um, correctly and making a systems image which is a very important part of um, computer maintenance always being in control is the whole idea here again uh, branded PC same thing maintenance you have to do it if you want your PC to last but then of course you have the problem when uh, the PC motherboard dies that you have to go and either buy a new one new PC or replace the motherboard and if you replace the motherboard then you have to buy yourself a new operating system so reliability again a solid state drive is the way to go if you're going to be either either one make sure if you can get it afford it um, get a solid state drive there is a huge speed difference between the PCs when you have a solid state drive installed the solid state drives you install them the same way as you would a disk drive there's there's no difference um, so that's pretty much it uh, warranties the difference in warranty if you purchase all your um, components for a PC you get a two-year warranty with with custom built components so you're ordering them you, you're getting it a two-year warranty with the branded PC you get a year warranty and all parts are combined in that warranty and another note here is if anything happens to your operating system you have 90 days of a warranty with that because of the end user license agreement that's attached to it um, due to the fact that it's it's owned by uh, Microsoft and not the HP's, Lenovo's, Dell's, Acer's, Asus's so they're basically just installing um, an operating system that they don't have any rights to so they get 90 days warranty on it another point to keep in mind so that's pretty much it um, so reliability if you want reliability in a PC I would go with a custom built PC if we, you, you have the option of making it last a lifetime as I said you have to replace parts as you go something to keep in mind okay so I uh, hope this was helpful and if you need any help you can contact me through computerhelpmadeeasy.com and as I said we have a mint I have a maintenance um, course it's a guide it's just showing you how to use 12 tools that are already installed on your PC and um, show you how to use them properly there'll be no buying any software or anything like that it's it's uh, just straightforward everything is on your PC already okay so thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful